Hi everyone, this is Sakun Sharma. So in this video, I'm going to ex discuss about how to secure access to network devices, I means securing your access to routers and switches, how to configure passwords, and how to enable talent access to your router or switch. So when you get a brand new switch or a router, by default, the only mode through which you can make changes to the configuration or you can access the configuration is via console port. So by default only console CLI access is available. So console CLI means command line interface access via console port. So Cisco routers and switches use iOS which is internet work operating system by Cisco not Apple. So by default only console access is enabled. That means telnet, SSH and HTTP are all disabled. But if you try to telnet the device, it won't say that telnet is disabled. It will allow you to telnet to that device, but it will give you an error saying that pass telnet password is not configured and it will exit your telnet. So that means you do not have telnet access. So to enable telnet, all you have to do is just configure a telnet password. If you configure a telnet password, it will allow you to telnet to your device. Third thing is enable mode. So Cisco IOS have three different modes, user mode, enable mode, and global configuration mode. User mode is the one which you connect, whenever you connect, you connect to a user mode. It's a simple mode. You do not have any power over this device in user mode. So from user mode, you move on to enable mode. Enable mode is one very powerful mode. Also, you can say a management mode for that device. Third is your global configuration mode. So global configuration is the mode where which you make all the configuration changes to that device. So it's very important to secure your enable mode. So we have enable mode security passwords also. So we'll discuss about that also. So let's first start with securing access to our device. So what we wanted to do is we want to connect to a router and switch command line interface. So when you want to secure device, basically you have to secure all the ways through which you can access that CLI. So by default, you can connect via console or you can connect to that device CLI via remote access. Remote access means telnet, SSH or HTTP. That means when you wanted to secure, you have to secure all the entries to that device. So we'll first start with how to secure access to console mode. Before that, I'll just show you an sample. I have a fresh brand new router configured with an IP address so that we can try to telnet it. So I'll just show you that our new router, whenever we try to telnet it by default, as there is no password set, so it won't allow us to telnet it. So I'll open my command prompt. First I'll see if I have connectivity to that router. <coughs> yeah, it's pinging successfully. So what I'll do is I'll try to telnet it. You can see that it's giving me an error, password required, but none set. And then it gives me an error connection to the host lost. If I press enter, I'll get back to my command prompt. That means it will allow me to tell it, but as password is not set, I cannot access the device. So I have, will first connect to the device via console port. So, I have already connected to the device via console port using rollover cable. So that is my device show IP interface brief. So you can see fast Ethernet port configured with 10.1.1.3. Now we'll start with uh, securing our first thing, which is our securing our console port. Before that, I'll show you that right now there is no password configured. So it won't ask me for any password whenever I try to connect to a console. So I've exited. Now when I try to connect to a console, you can see that it didn't ask me for any password. Now securing console port means configuring a password on console port. 
configuring a password is a configuration change that means i have to go to global configuration mode first then i have to go to the port on which i want to configure a password so to move to global configuration mode my command is configure terminal right now i'm in global configuration mode. now to configure password on a console port i have to go line console zero now you can see my prompt is r1 config hyphen line that means i am in a line configuration mode whatever commands i'll give here will configure only my console port zero now to configure a password we'll use command password space what password you want to configure so i'll just configure password sakun right now i have set console port with a password sakun but whenever I try to connect to this device via console port, I haven't set the device to ask for authentication. I have set the authentication sakun, but I haven't set the device to ask for authentication. That means if I try to connect, it will not ask me for a password. So to set your device to ask for authentication that before connecting authenticate user, you have to give command login. When I configure login command, basically after that only, this router will try to authenticate whenever someone tries to connect via console port. So right now I have configured password. I'll give exit. Now you can see when I try to connect via console, it give me a uh, message that user access verification enter the password. When I entered the password, I was able to connect to my enable mode. <clears throat> so how to secure your console port go to enable mode then you have to go to configure terminal port oh sorry configure terminal global configuration mode so after global configuration you move to line console 0 which is your console port you configure password what authentication password and then you give login command which tells router that some when someone try to connect authenticate the user first right second is to secure access via remote uh, which is your telnet and ssh so right now i have configured password only for my console port that means even if i try to connect via telnet it will give me same error password required but none set because I haven't configured password for my remote access so to configure password for my remote access config terminal I'm in global configuration mode line vty 015 now what is this vty lines and what is 0215 basically when you connect via console port you connect via line console 0 that is a physical port when you connect to a remote access, telnet or SSH, basically you connect to a virtual lines. Your devices have 16 virtual lines. So whenever you connect via remote access, you connect to one of these virtual lines. So VTY is your virtual terminal lines and 0 to 15 is your range. You have 16 virtual lines. 0 to 15 so you're giving a range that whatever command i'm going to configure configure it for all those 16 lines if you give only line vty 0 it will configure settings whatever command you will give only for line vty 0 not for rest 15 lines so instead of giving a setting password on each line what we gave is line vty 015 a range command so basically it's configuring for all 16 lines so earlier we give line console 0 that you want to get into console 0 port and configure that port right now we are giving line vty 015 that configure virtual lines range 0 to 15 that means configure all 16 virtual lines then to set a password again your command is password and still it won't try to authenticate so you have to give login command to tell router to authenticate whenever someone's try to connect via remote access.
now i'll from my laptop i'll try to connect via telnet so now you can see that it gave me access to the telnet but it's asking me for a user access verification so when i give the password it allow me to enter into user mode greater than sign greater than sign means it's a user mode now to get into enable mode i'll give command enable but will ask me for a password but i haven't set any password so i cannot access enable mode before configuring enable mode password just a review that how to configure your remote access so you go to enable mode then you get into global configuration mode by giving command config terminal you get to all your 16 virtual lines using line vty 0 space 15 and then you configure a password and you set the authentication by giving login command now next is your securing enable mode your enable mode is a very powerful mode of your device it is kind of management mode for your device in enable mode like you can back up your configurations you can delete your configuration you can back up your operating system you can delete operating system you can reboot that device you can change its uh, backup schedules you can change its date and time all those things which relates to management of that device so if someone has access to enable mode he can do a serious damage to that device and which can have a serious impact on your enterprise so it is very 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 important to secure your enable mode to so to secure your enable mode we have two different passwords one is enable password second is enable secret the difference between these two are enable password when you set an enable password basically it will store your password in a clear text format in your configuration file so if you back up that configuration file on your laptop and if someone has access to your laptop he can open that configuration file in simple notepad and he can see what the password is configured for enable mode so basically it is not secure on other hand enable secret password when you set an enable secret basically it encrypts your password with an md5 hash and it stored that md5 hash value in your configuration file so if someone see your configuration file he won't be able to see what your password is because it is stored in a md5 hash so first i'll set enable password and then i'll set enable secret and i'll show you the difference so we'll get into global configuration mode so i'll give enable password sakun now do show running configuration why i have used two keyword because i'm in global configuration mode and i want to execute a enable mode command so if you write a do keyword in front of enable mode command you can execute that command even from global configuration mode or any sub global configuration mode so right now you can see it has set enable password in my configuration file and it has stored that password in a clear text format sakun so if i back up this file anyone can open and see what the enable password is so it is not secure second kind of password you can set is enable secret now if i get do show run now you can see that my enable secret password which is stored in an hash format so if someone sees this hash he cannot understand what the password is so enable secret is far secure than enable password now you can see that both commands are configured enable secret as well as enable password when you have both commands configured your device will allow to uh, access enable mode only via secret password if there is no secret password configured then it will use enable password but if secret password is configured it will allow access only via secret password so it's better to delete your enable password how do we delete an command from any configuration 
just add no in front of that command. So no enable password. Now, right now you can see that we have only enabled secret. It has removed enable password. Now another problem with passwords are you can see for my line console zero my password is stored in a clear text format even for my vty lines my passwords are stored in clear text format again someone has access to my laptop open, open my configuration file he can see my remote access passwords now to secure these passwords you have another command which is service password encryption when you execute this commands, what your device will do, it will encrypt all the passwords con currently configured on your device. Plus whatever new passwords you will configure, it will encrypt all those passwords. So I'll give do show run. But remember, service password encryption do not have any impact on enable secret password. So service password encryption will never change your secret password. It will, in, if you have configured enable password, then it will encrypt that enable password, but it do not change anything with to your secret password. So if we move down, we can see line console zero. Now my password is encrypted. It's not stored in a clear text format, but Whenever you want to secure your enable mode, always go for enable secret mode because enable secret use MD5 hash, which is far secure than service password encryption security. So it's always recommended that use enable secret instead of enable password in combination with service password encryption because it's more secure than your service password encryption algorithm. I hope this video will help you with more understanding about how to secure access to your devices and how to enable Telnet. So if you like my video, please like and share. If you have any feedbacks and comments, please comment. And if you like my channel, please subscribe it. Thank you.